But for a regular, a loyal follower of the show and the, on the Houston Rounds Ball Review platforms, CA37 asked me on Thursday's show, the Houston Rounds Ball Review takeover of the lunch break, asked me if the players who are participating in the TBT, the basketball tournament, and specifically Forever Cougs team, who advanced to the Houston regional, or the regional final, they won their part, if they get paid for winning their region. I mentioned during the show that I would find out, sent a text message, got my answer after the show. They do not get paid for winning the regional. The players only get paid if they win the entire TBT. The winning team, the team that gets all six wins, wins all six games of the tournament, that's when they get paid. That's when they split the $1 million prize and receive it via Zelle. So beyond that, guys don't get paid. Guys don't get paid for winning one game. They don't get paid for winning two games. They don't get paid for winning three. None of that. They get paid for winning, winning it all. So it is really win and go home. And thank you for your time. Thank you for your effort. And I've heard that some of the teams that participate are getting, you know, some name, image, and likeness kind of deals, some advertising sponsorship deals, things of like that sort, but that's not through TBT. So the winning team, the team that wins all six games, that is when they get paid. They do not get paid for winning a regional. And speaking of TBT, more of TBT and more of Forever Kooks, they will host their quarterfinal game this coming Tuesday, July 30th, 8 p.m. Central versus Team Colorado. The game will take place inside Fertitta Center. Rob Gray, the CEO of Forever Cougs, has really, he said after their win on Tuesday, and he said it again on Friday in the media session, which uh, me, KPRC2 Chancellor Johnson, and Monov, I think Monov is still with the Daily Cougar, student, alum, well, he will be an alum, attended. And Rafael, Rafael from Daily Cougar, sports journalist for the Cougar. We attended it. Rob Gray said he really, really, really hopes that fans do attend the game on Tuesday. Like to see the crowd, three, four, five thousand attend the game. It'd be nice. UH team, men's team is trying to do a better job of marketing, promoting, and all those great things. We'll see if it happens. We'll see if it has an impact. Hopefully it won't rain. It shouldn't rain. Just be hot and humid, which is usual in H-Town in July and not raining like it has been almost this entire month of July and no hurricane, anything of that sort. So with better weather, better weather, hopefully be a better crowd. I'll be there watching the game with the Elam ending and we'll see how whoever wins and the winner of that game will advance to Philadelphia for the final four between and then it'll be the winner of that on Tuesday's game will be two wins shy of splitting the one million dollars so we shall see I'll be there so if you want to be there spend a few dollars and watch some exciting basketball watch some players if you are a Coug fan you remember from the days when they hooped at at UH and wore the Cougar uniform come see them come see Rob Gray come see Fabian White he will be participating with, with Forever Cougs for his first game of this tournament. He finished up his, his Summer League stint with the Summer League Rockets. Fabian will be there. You are welcome, CA37. I, I, I meant to reach out to you Thursday, but I didn't know how, how to contact you on YouTube, figure out how to message you or whatever. But, yeah, find out soon after the show the answer to your question. Thank you for, for asking it. Thank you for your your comments and views and watching the show and everything you do to support the Houston Rounds Ball Review on YouTube. 